Many artists find inspiration in the natural world around them, from forest ecosystems to urban gardens. Environmental artists delve deeply into ecological relationships, and many of us create works that not only reveal the workings of our environment, but also work to enrich and restore places that have been damaged by human activities. At the Schuylkill Center, we aim to build spaces for artists and the public to creatively explore and engage with environmental issues of our time and our surrounding ecosystem. Our environmental art program started in 2000 as an opportunity for professional artists to investigate the nature of place. We believe that artists are uniquely suited to investigate and address environmental topics of our time and to build new pathways to connect people and nature. Over the last two decades, we have hosted hundreds of artists, community members and individuals whose creative projects have sparked curiosity about the natural environment and have helped nature to self-heal. Focusing exclusively on environmental topics, we present a changing program of temporary and permanent installations in our gallery and along our trails, as well as an artist-in-residency program and public events. At the heart of these efforts is the Schuylkill Center's 340 acres large nature preserve in northeast Philadelphia. Founded in 1965 as one of the first nature centers in a major metropolitan area, the Schuylkill Center became a pioneer in the field, right around the same time when the environmental education movement started. Today, the Schuylkill Center is blending its four core areas of environmental education, land restoration, wildlife rehabilitation, and art into an ambitious program for the public. Continuously throughout the year, our environmental art program offers ongoing exhibitions in our gallery. Gallery presentations range from prints to sculptures to multimedia installations. They are often accompanied by special installations outdoors that can even become part of our permanent installations on our land. Our permanent artworks at the Schuylkill Center serve both as an artistic feature on our land and as a tool for environmental education. As long-term habitants on our property, they offer a means to observe environmental changes over time and to actively engage the public in conversations about nature's systems. A unique aspect of our environmental art program is our immersive artist-in-residency program, Land Lab. Blending artistic creation with scientific investigation and public engagement, Land Lab is a living laboratory for creatives to investigate ecological processes. Since 2014, Land Lab residents have realized multidisciplinary projects in collaboration with staff and experts in the field that remediate damage and address environmental challenges we face both locally and globally today. Our project, Remembering Water's Way, was a chance to really make visible what the land management team was doing using dance and installation and having these embodied conversations with the community that surrounds and engages with the Schuylkill Center. Being able to be in a place and see what's going on and hear scientific information and being able to, to move about it and, and feel those things in your bones, I think is an absolutely amazing way to start these conversations about some really intense and complex topics. And the Land Lab residency was a really good introduction to that on a pretty uh, large scale. So it really helped me think about having these um, embodied experiences with groups in the places where they are, highlighting things that are actually impacting them um, I think it was a great way to be able to um, see those light bulb moments um, that people were having as they were dancing or witnessing dance along, along the trail. 
We believe art is a vehicle that can bring people together for unique experiences in nature and that can drive dialogue and conversation about our environment. Like a forest where trees communicate, adapt and build resilience with each other, art is the connector that helps heal our relationship with nature and with each other. And this is what we hope to do at the Skoko Center.